Hey everyone, this is just the, the Norwex products I use in my bathroom to give it a quick clean. So, first I always start up high. So I wet my Enviro cloth there. See, I wet it. And I squeeze it out so it's just damp. Damp Enviro. Fold it up so I'm catching everything. And I give it a good wipe. And I take my window cloth. You can fold it up. You can keep it big however you want. And this is what you get a streak-free shine with. You dry it with that. So I'm just going to fold you, fold it up and show you how you can do it like that too. Window cloth. Now I keep this on my shoulder all the time. Because whenever I have to shine something, like the faucets or something like that, then I, I pull it out. So, I basically use my Enviro cloth to clean my entire bathroom. I can wipe everything down, and as you know, it picks up everything. So I clean my entire bathroom basically with the Enviro cloth. I just don't like scrubbing, so that's when I bring in the cleaning paste here. So when I have some watermarks, I take the cleaning paste and my Enviro and I just wipe it in there and then I can come along here. Look how fast and easy that is. Now down here, the sink, so it's not something that's going to come off. It's been eaten away with some harsh chemicals, whatever the owner used before we got here. And that is my clean sink. And then I want to polish the faucet, or if you have granite countertops or something that you like to be shiny, then you can take this all around your entire bathroom and shine up your counters, your sink, whatever you like. But look how shiny this is just by pulling this over. All those watermarks are gone. And something people forget is to clean their soap dispensers. Don't forget to clean this because people tend to wash their hands after they do their business in the bathroom and they touch their soap with dirty hands, with germy, germy hands I should say. And then you can just rinse everything off out of the cloth right into your sink and anything that doesn't get taken out of the cloth right now when I rinse it, um, it will get, get out of there during the drying process with the silver. It will get rid of all of the, the bacteria that I've picked up in there now. So, on to the toilet. So first thing, oh, I always have my odor eliminator on here so when someone goes to the bathroom, if, they've, uh, if it's smelly in here, they can just spritz this a little and um, it's diluted seven times with water so you don't have to worry about um, a Febreze or something that's um, just covering up the smell and, and really putting those toxic chemicals into the air. The odor eliminator will, um, will get rid of the smell. So I start with the top here. I know I find this gets very dusty on the top so I just flip it over and use a new side so then that dust isn't coming back off my cloth. And don't forget the handle. When you're cleaning the bathroom you need to make sure you clean the handle. A lot of people forget that one and that's one of the dirtiest spots in the bathroom. Now I like using the Enviro cloth. You can also use the bathroom scrub mitt that I use in my bathtub on the toilet. It's uh, a personal preference whatever you you like to use. In there. Now I'm not a hand in toilet kind of girl, so this is when I bring out my toilet brush. Now what I like about the toilet brush is if you look at this, it is all one piece. There is no um, holes in there. It's all one piece of silicone. It has the tip to go right up underneath the, the toilet. It sits up out of the bottom there so you don't have to worry about bacteria um, growing in there. Plus there's silver inside of the the toilet brush so it will get rid of that as well. So you can just brush, this is just, let's do the rusty water comes right off, but if you find that you're getting stuff up here or you see there's a little bit of rust there, I normally recommend getting rid of the water that's in here first, but what I use on a regular basis is I have um, blue diamond diluted in here seven times with water. So this is what I spray in here. It's getting low, 
And when I find I have a hard problem, seeing this has been sitting for three weeks, I use our descaler. So what you do with the descaler is you spritz it a little and you let it sit for 10 minutes. So I just wet my bathroom scrub mitt. This here is how I clean my bathtub. I keep it hung up in here all the time and it's easy to get around things. Now, again, I have hard water, so I spray the descaler down and uh, let it sit for 10 minutes. Give it a spray, let it sit, and then I get in here. You can even put the bathroom scrub mitt on your foot if you would like. If you want to put it on your foot and clean that way, you can. Whatever's easiest. That's how I started because I had a one month old in my arms and I had my two year old down playing in the bathtub. So I would throw my bathroom scrub mitt on whenever I could and <laughs> clean my bathtub. So you can take this all around, get into the edges and the corners, all around there. Get the rusty water off the bottom, the sides. I just like how easy this is. Get the dirt off the wall. Now again, this is another place you can use your cleaning paste if you want. So if you have cleaning paste instead of um, the descaler, you can get in there and scrub on the, the watermarks or if you have rusty water as well, you could do that. Whatever is easiest. I like that you can just grab onto everything. It's kind of like the dust mitt that way. You can grab around and get on everything. You see right here I have lots of rusty water coming down. Again, this is when I would put the bathroom scrub mitt on my foot so I don't have to bend over and scrub. The bathroom scrub mitt is great for um, pools as well. When you're, I know when you're opening your pool or your hot tub, you can get a lot of dirt and um, whatever, grime and stuff build up along the top of your, your pool and the edge of your watermark. And you can just take this and and clean around that way as well. And to finish things up, I always mop my floors. So I go around, and like you saw in the mop video, I just clean the floors. But what I like about um, the mop in my bathroom, I also do my walls. So I just lock it. Right here, you push this green part down, it says lock, and I can clean my, my walls at the same time.